Hey hey people, Honkai Star Rails 2.1 update has added a total of 41 achievements that can be easily completed in about an hour if given the right guidance. That's about 300 up to 800 stellar jades most of you missed out on, so here's how you get every single one of them. We start off at the simulated universe and begin a run in world 9. Here you need to build a team that includes only one character of the following elements, lightning, quantum or imaginary. You just ignore every encounter in the first domain and head straight for the last guy. You choose occurrence for the next two domains. And then at the first boss you just do nothing until he gets 5 stacks of obscure blaze. Once he does, all that's left to do is break his shield and the achievement should pop up and you finalize the run. We do the same thing again, but this time you reduce the difficulty of the sim and don't bring any characters that can break his shield at all. Just kill the first boss and with that we are done with the simulated universe. Now teleport to the Dewlight Pavilion, you head to the miniature city and do the double cannon right here and on the second you redirect the path like this. Not gonna lie, I had some trouble with that. This took me way longer than it really should. And you interact with a massive origami bird that also happens to have a severe alcohol problem. Probably because his wife left him and took the kids. Anyway, he wants you to get him some wine, so you head to the entrance of the Dulai Pavillon. To the left you meet these three talking wine bottles. They are all buddy buddy, but what you do is gaslight them into no longer being friends with each other and take one of them. Then you go out to the hallway where the six statues are and interact with every single one of them. They tell you the story of every member of the family. Once you did that, you interact with them a second second time, just to find out everything they just told you was completely made up. Me when I spread misinformation. Now you head back to your alcoholic friend and hit him up with the good stuff, which should reward you with why is this origami bird so huge? Lastly you run up right here and take a range character like Topaz. So you take a range character and shoot the balloon that flies right there. Dreamweaving Industrialization is an achievement you get for completing the Outsourcer side quest you get via in-game message after completing 2.1 story mission. Which also unlocks a room with 3 longer puzzles that contains 9 chests. I don't think you will be needing any hand holding for this one. By the way, if you're watching this around the time it came out, there's currently a web event that gives you 120 jades just within a few minutes. I put a link in the bio. Get your ass to the Clock Studio theme park and go right here. Change the cannons like this to unlock a secret area where you get two achievements and a chest. You interact with a group of people, next you teleport north and head into the Hanu minigame. In that minigame you meet them again but disguised as Hanu. Lastly you head to the merch store right here and interact with them one last time to get secret party. Next you head to the counter and buy one of each item. Also right next to it there should be an NPC called Okasana. She has one of these emotional wheel side quests. Completing this will reward you with one of three achievements. It doesn't really matter which one you do, you can only get one of them. Near the entrance of the park, talk to Warner and buy the only item he is selling. Right next to it is a crime scene, here you talk to the detective billboard. And right afterwards you interact with the purple bubbles right in front of him. After 24 hours you will be getting a message which will reward you with the achievement Variation named I. You take a range character once more and shoot the balloon right here like this. For the achievement Pac-Man you do the jigsaw puzzle on the pathway and head into the maze to get the pieces. You complete the puzzle and go back to the maze. There should be a lot of balloons right there. Now you shoot all of them. To one of the mini games, there should be a photo booth where you can prepare a family picture of your favorite characters. You can only do this once, so beware if this is something you care about. So if you choose Weld, Himiko, Danhang and March 7 in that order, the name of the achievement will change. Pretty close to that, there should be a limousine with a bunch of monsters right in front of them. If you beat them up, you get attendance rate 0. To the clocky minigame, here you do the easiest difficulty and just hold down spacebar until a few seconds before it ends. This should reward you with two achievements, one for not taking damage, another one for holding spacebar for 10 seconds or longer. Next up you do the 10th and last difficulty, unlock it if you need to. And here's what you do, you start off by having the perfect run by using the double dodge to beat all the bad guys and generate as much energy as possible. But once you start building energy for your second special, you avoid two enemies on purpose to delay it. Once your second special started, you run everything over until it ends, which should reward you with two more achievements. On the other Clarky minigame, there's only one new achievement, Way of the Wolf. You just go into the easiest difficulty and shoot everyone. Now for the Reverie event bar quest. There's an achievement in which you become the shittiest bartender in history. You ruin 5 orders by doing everything wrong. You should fuck up that drink NOW! By simply completing the entire event you get 4 more achievements. 
to the Hanu Adventure. You likely already get at least one of them, but here's how you get three at once. At the Dulai Pavilion, you go to the left wing and head into the Hanu minigame. You pick up the rocket launcher and shoot all six monsters by only using two of the bullets. With that, you should get these three achievements. Also, you need to basically 100% every single Hanu Adventure that was added in 2.1 for the achievement Living with a Wolf. Here are all the locations. Go to any Calyx of your choice and use 10 energy, assuming you don't own the character. Go and rent the juiciest Archeon you can find and let her slash away using her ultimate to get the achievement Lady Snowblood. Do the same thing with Aventurine in a boss battle once he's out. Keep using his ultimate until you win the 1 in 7 chance. But make sure that he has 0 stacks of his passive before using the ultimate. In case you haven't completed his Trailblazer quest yet, you can also do the achievement that way. Go into the Aventurine boss battle and roll two sixes during the all or nothing. Just retry until you win the gacha within a gacha. Same thing again, but on a lower difficulty with four AoE characters like Jing Wan or Asta and win the gamble with all four characters. Make sure you have at least four skill points going into the gamble. There are a total of four achievements you get for completing the Trailblazer quest. The next two achievements can only be done if you have Adventurine or Archeon. For Archeon, you need to defeat five enemies in a row using her overworld skill. This achievement cannot be done during the trial. During her story period, you can actually get this achievement that way. Lastly, for Adventurine, you have to take him into Simulated Universe 8 and let him last hit the boss Senior Staff Team Leader in the 4th or 8th domain. The Lady in Gold achievement seems to be bugged as of right now. It most likely refers to the frame picture of Robin right here. In case it's not, I will be giving a detailed explanation in the pinned comment once it works. And this is how you get all 41 achievements. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.